Do you remember those days when we all had the subcomputers and we were okay about the size? It turns out that we can now have a full computer in the palm of your hand and it has Windows 10 and Android for the price of $100 US? Stay tuned for a full review. The Marvine M1 Plus Mini PC comes with a power plug, HDMI extension cable and USB ODG cable. As far as design, we're looking at a tiny piece of kit which is about double of the size of a regular USB flash drive. The Marvine M1 Plus is made entirely of plastic and it doesn't necessarily scream premium but it doesn't feel cheap neither. On the front we have ventilation grills as the device has a dedicated vent to handle the heat that's coming out of the chips inside the mini PC. Right next to it there is an LED indicator which lights up once the device is powered on. On one side there is a power button, the cutouts for air intake, a power input port and the USB port. On another side we have one more air intake cutout, micro USB port and the micro SD card slot for storage expansion of up to 128 gigs. The setup of Morphine M1 Plus is very easy, all you have to have is the monitor with the HDMI port, a keyboard and the mouse. Firstly, you have to connect the power plug, then you can use the HDMI extension cable optionally or just plug in the mini PC to the monitor as it is. Secondly, you should connect the mouse either via the USB port or via the Bluetooth if you have a Bluetooth mouse. Finally, do the same with the keyboard, hit the power button and you're good to go. One of the key features is that this mini PC has two operating systems, fully licensed Windows 10 and Android 4.4 and you can choose either of them once the PC is booting up. The Morphine M1 Plus Mini PC has a quad-core Intel Bay Trail chip with a clock speed of 1.3 GHz, 2 GB of RAM and 32 GB of expandable storage. As far as Windows 10 performance, you can't expect to play the high-end games on it but the Morphine Mini PC is definitely enough for internet browsing, editing documents, watching movies and any other daily tasks. The performance was smooth and it didn't have any major hiccups or lags. Well, maybe the internal flash storage is not that fast but, you know, I'm used to using a very fast SSD disk on my daily laptop. As far as Android user experience, we have the outdated Android 4.4 KitKat version and hopefully we'll see an update in the future. Basically, what you are getting is a stock Android designed for tablets. Everything is running super fast and fluid and it is kind of cool to see Android on a big screen. I tried playing Asphalt 8 on it and it was a fun experience. The graphics actually look pretty good and honestly, it is much more fun playing this game using a keyboard. Most importantly, the gaming performance was good with absolutely no lag and with just a few minor skipped frames. A really cool feature is that you can easily switch from Android to Windows with a simple click. Overall, the user experience on both Windows and Android platforms was mostly positive but if you ask me which operating system was faster, I would say Android as it just fly through everything given the nearly stock Android build and powerful hardware. When it comes to connectivity, the dual band Wi-Fi worked great although the range was a bit worse than for example on the iPad but I cannot say it was poor. As far as Bluetooth, it worked absolutely fine with a few different keyboards and the mouse I tested with. All in all, the Morphine M1 Plus Dual Boot Mini PC is a great idea and it is mostly well implemented. I love the fact that it can actually replace your laptop and a tablet and all you need to have is the monitor, a keyboard and the mouse. I was happy with the overall performance of it and the fact that you can easily switch between two operating systems. Also, the microSD card slot lets you expand the storage of up to 128 gigs, and you can also use the USB port for additional storage or accessories if needed. However, I was disappointed that the device ships with the outdated Android 4.4 as we always want the newest version of Android. Also, the mini PC is pretty loud as the embedded ventilator is constantly working. Well, it is not as loud as the full-fledged desktop PC but it could definitely be more silent. All in all, the Morphine M1 Plus is worth the price of $100 US considering the feature-rich and versatile package you are getting. 
However, you should take a few shortcomings into consideration before making a purchase. It was Lionels, thanks for watching and as always guys, if you liked the video, please hit the like button, if you didn't like it, please hit the dislike button and also please check out some other videos on the channel, subscribe, like, share, comment and see you in the next video very soon.